Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Plant Based Storm. I'm Stormy, and I thought that I would do a quick video. And I've been doing some really simple meals. We're out of state, visiting family, showing off our sweet baby girl. And we've been doing some simple meals just to keep things easy uh, while we're here visiting. So um, one of the things I did was some quick and easy bean burritos, and they kind of remind me of the Taco Bell uh, burritos, just the bean burritos that we uh, used to get a long time ago. And um, so I wanted to show you that recipe because I thought it might be something that y'all would enjoy. Uh, we've been enjoying family, like I said, and beautiful scenery. Really enjoying our time uh, while we're getting used to this new addition. So I just wanted to share some of the things that we've seen, just a few little clips here and there. And I also wanted to share this super simple recipe because I think it would be something that everyone would enjoy. Um, you can make it more uh, weight loss focused if you want to add like more veggies into it or just eat one single burrito with um, some vegetables like making it a 50-50 plate. I am still working on um, losing baby weight. It's only been three weeks since she's been born. I'm down about 30 pounds, which is pretty awesome. Um, and I still have about 15 or so more to go just to get back to the pre-baby weight and of course I still wasn't through like losing weight before I had my baby so anyway we're on this weight loss journey together if you want to be on that with me um, if not you can make it uh, various different ways you can there's so many things that you can add to burritos so this is just like a basic simple recipe and I hope that it's something that you'll try and then add in all of your own uh, favorites to it to make it your own so let's jump right into it and see how I make these super simple burritos so in order to make these we need a few simple ingredients just some dried beans and a few um, grocery items and seasonings and that's really it the cumin chili garlic powder onion powder and black pepper those are the key ingredients i'm going to use one cup of dried black beans and here you can see i'm just sorting through them to make sure that there's not any rocks and then i'm also going to use one cup of dried pintos and you can use whatever type of beans you like this is just what we love on our burritos i love to mix these two and they have a really wonderful flavor and so you can see just down there at the in, in the bottom of the Instant Pot, there's just two cups of beans total. And then to that, I'm going to add in the water and I add eight cups of water. Uh, and this cooks it just right. In my opinion, you have extra juice left over if you want it. Um, and then I'm just going to dice up a whole onion and put that right into the crock pot. And I think it gives it a uh, flavor and extra veggies. And then I'm going to add in an entire bell pepper. Orange is just what I had on hand. You can add whatever color you want, red, orange, yellow, green. It doesn't matter. It just gives it some nice flavor. And I'm just going to throw that right into the Instant Pot along with the onions. And then I'm going to put in all of the seasonings to that as well. And so for the seasonings, I'm going to end up adding about one tablespoon of each. And like I said, it was onion, garlic, chili powder, cumin, and black pepper. And these are my favorite seasonings. And you may have some that you would like to add. And then I'm just going to put this on to cook for 35 minutes. And while this is cooking, I'm going to show you some fun things that we've been doing. Cash, wave at me. Hey. Wave. So we did a little bit of grocery shopping, of course, making sure that we had the things that we needed. And then we went to Blue Water Park, which is located in Pelham, Alabama. It's a place where my husband used to work as a scuba instructor. Uh, and we went to visit some old friends and we took in the beautiful scenery, of course, while we were w over there of the quarry and went and admired the fish, the catfish, and there's all kinds of life in this quarry. Um, and you can, they'll come right up to you when you're diving. If you're ever in Pelham and interested in diving, check it out. And then just some outdoor adventures. That was really fun. Uh, for the kiddos and these are just a few of the things that we've seen so hopefully you enjoyed that now once the beans have cooked for 35 minutes I let them sit under pressure for 20 more minutes and then I put them in a container 
and have just a little bit of the juice in it. We took this to a party that we went to. We knew they wouldn't have anything there that we would be able to eat, so we just packed our own food and brought it with us. And I mashed it up just to get it like nice and creamy because that's the way we like it. And then after you get it mashed up as much as you want, and then you can just put it right onto your tortilla. Um, I mashed it up pretty good and left some of the beans whole. It was super delicious. You can use whatever tortillas you want to. You can put it on lettuce, Ezekiel. These are just some low-sodium tortillas uh, that we're using. And then I'm going to just load it up with beans. You could put um, cashew sour cream, um, tomatoes, onions like that are fresh, cilantro. I mean, you name it. Whatever you could put on a burrito or a taco, you could add to this. But like I said, we were keeping things super simple. So we just added beans and some hot sauce. And like, I know this isn't like the healthiest hot sauce but it's one of my favorites so this is what we added to it um and then I just wrapped it up sorry I'm wrapping it up one-handed for y'all because I was filming with the other hand and then we just ate up these super delicious little bean burritos and we really enjoyed it and it was super filling. So I hope that you liked this video this simple easy bean burrito recipe. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to try it. And I hope that you enjoyed the scenery. Here's a little bit of a sunset that we saw as we were coming home from Birmingham. And it was just beautiful. And as always, thanks so much for watching.